breakfast. I mixed, uh, Ollie got watermelon juice and I mixed watermelon and green juice together. But I just got a little bit of everything. And some things I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna try them out. Lots of carbs. Well, we'll definitely be on a detox when we get home. <laughs> oh yeah. Take one, hun. Oh, hello, Elaine. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Dinner, day two, we are at the steakhouse. All right, and so this is a Caesar salad with chicken and mozzarella sticks, <laughs> for starters. Hey guys, it's day two of our vacation. I got a little bit of an egg scramble, some uh, black beans, I like the Spanish tortilla that they made, a quesadilla, a couple pancakes, bacon, and a hash brown. And then on the side here, I kind of have a little bit of, it looks like salami or pepperoni, and a little bit of like a Greek kind of salad that I made myself. And a, a little plethora of fruit here as well. As usual, can't do anything without my coffee. And then they also had um, a cappuccino, so I got a little bit of that as well. So yeah, that's my plate for today. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're eating at the Italian. And I got my first plate. Champagne. Champagne? I'll take a beer though. Beer for yes. you? Yes. Okay. Champagne. Champagne and beer. Three champagne or one beer? 
Yes, yes. ma'am. Spinach, croquet, a little bit of, what was the rice stuff called? Risotto. Risotto, like a little pasta salad, a bruschetta, the cheese, and these little crisps. And my main course, it is lasagna. And all we got beef with gorgonzola. Hey guys, sis. welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm back home <laughs> and in one piece. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're back home. It is now Friday the 24th. Tomorrow is our anniversary. Woo -woo. Um, but we made our way back from Mexico. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves immensely. Enjoyed ourselves immensely as you guys clearly already saw in the earlier uh, videos. I tried my best to get some little, you know, small snapshots in there of, you know, what we saw um, or where we were, what we were doing, but it's not a travel vlog. It's, <laughs> it's a food vlog. <laughs> it's an OMAD vlog. Um, so this one is definitely a dedicated OMAD, but not so OMAD vlog, basically. Um, because I, like I mentioned to you guys earlier in my last videos, I was not restricting myself in any way, shape, or form. So, um, you know, if there were drinks, I was going to have a drink. If there was food, I was going to have a food. If there was an ice cream truck that was coming around, you know, I was having an ice cream. You know, my absolute favorite ice cream they had there was coconut. Oh, it was so good. My husband does not like coconut, but he actually liked that ice cream. It was so, so good. Um... Other than that, I'll be fully transparent with you guys. I'm not sure. I should have weighed myself before I went on vacation, but I definitely want to weigh myself now that I'm coming off vacation. Um, just so that I kind of know where I'm at with everything. But literally, none of the food stayed with us. And that's the best way I'm going to put it for you. None of the food stuck with us or set up shop. So I'll let you guys use your imagination on that one. Till this day. Till this day. So, yeah, I'm about that. <laughs> Even though we tried an array of different things, we also just tried not to eat super heavy. So we would try until we were, you know, like satisfied. We were like, okay, that's enough. Like, we're fine. So in some of the clips, I will show you like what I, my plate started out with, but what my plate ended with. Um, so nothing was like completely, I thought something was crawling on me. Nothing was completely, you know, finished off with. But other than that, I mean, the sun, if you can't already tell, I definitely got sunburn. One of it being my lips. My lips got sunburned. I was like, I put on, I put on SPF and everything. My face is fine. It just, it got my lips. And then I guess I must have took a nap and drooled or something. And, and it got me. And I... Yeah, I look like the Joker. The Joker. <laughs> oh my gosh. I look like the Joker. Like, this looks so crazy. But you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> it's a story to tell. Um, Back to reality, Natalie, because I've been over here talking for about four minutes. Anyway, we enjoyed our vacation. We're back home. We're right back into the mix of things. And so we are going to jump right into meal prepping for the week. So like I mentioned, today is Friday. I do pick up my nephew later this afternoon. Um, but we are going to go grocery shopping, get our stuff. And even though it is our anniversary weekend, the show must go on. Okay, we've had our, we've had our fun for sure. Um, I just got finished marinating some chicken. It looks delicious. I'm actually going to slice this up. But we're going to do some kebabs on the grill. Uh, so, oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna show you guys what I used um, as per usual, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, can't go anywhere with that. Uh, some smoked paprika and then some poultry or chicken seasoning. And then I got this one off of Amazon and I'll try to remember to link it below, but it is um, Taste of Morocco Gourmet Seasoning Dry Rub. So that's also what I got. If hopefully it can focus a little bit for you guys. It's from, um, it's from good old Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link it below, but basically it just says taste of Morocco and it's just like a Moroccan dry rub. So I put that on there um, so that I can add in, I think I'm gonna end up adding some uh, 
uh, zucchini, I have some onions already, uh, some little cherry tomatoes. I probably want to put on my list, I have a little list right here if you guys can see, our little grocery list, maybe some column of olives. And then I did put feta on there as well. So I think that's going to be a delicious meal. Um, I'm also going to be doing, since it is warm, oh, I forgot to tell you guys today, it's going to be 80, it's 82 right now. So it's consistently warm. Of course, the week we go out on vacation, it's nice and warm and beautiful and everything. Uh, neither here nor there. Oh, we got back and it's like really nice. And apparently we're supposed to be getting some heat, like some heat waves or something for the next week sometime. So yeah, I'm preparing for that now. We're going to be using the grill a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be doing kebabs. I also have some chicken wings I'm going to marinate as well. Uh, for the chicken wings, I'm going to kind of stick with like a lemon pepper seasoning. Um, my husband also has lime pepper, which is actually really good. If you guys have like a Walmizi Walmart, <laughs> excuse me, um, then definitely hit, uh, I know Walmart for sure has those ones. It's from the company Badia, um, but they make like a lime pepper. I also think they make an orange pepper too, but that lime pepper is really delicious. Um, I also have some adobo seasoning to go with it and then just a little pack of sesson. Uh, by Goya Sasson, which has like a bunch of different, um, like a bunch of different spices in it. I have these little packets as well. So that's what I'm going to use on those wings and mar make sure I marinate those so that we can get those done either tomorrow or Sunday. But I want to make sure that stuff had time to actually like marinate and, you know, kind of soak up some flavor before we start putting it on the grill. Because, you know, with the grill, things can go awry really quickly <laughs> and then you could just have burnt and then it's not flavorful <laughs> <laughs> so I want to make sure that we have everything uh, planned and together. Um, other than that, I'm doing okay. You can see a little bit of my tan line here. I had on, um, as you guys can see, we had on um, like little SPF shirts. <gasps> life change. I mean, like lifesaver. Like you don't see it. I did not get burnt on the upper half of my body with those long sleeve shirts. But the day I decided to roll up the shirt, you can definitely tell that sun took took. Yeah, it, it's it's serious, son, okay? You can definitely see the change or the difference. And then I also got some little heat bumps on the side. But yeah, the day I decided to roll up that shirt, that's what I got, two tones. <laughs> ah, I should have left her down. <laughs> We're doing okay, and I will check in with you guys a little later. Take care. Bye. So we went with tropical fruit smoothie today. So I got some sun chips and I got a little quesadilla. And then of course a smoothie. Um, this one is becoming one of my favorites. It's the Bahama Mama. No uh, sugar, but sub with Splenda. That's what I have. Yum, yum, yum. Great. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so we ended up going to Crumble. They had a regular chocolate chip, a chocolate chip skillet cookie with some type of vanilla mousse or something on there, a sugar cookie, but with an animal, um, like an animal cookie theme, and then peach cobbler cookie. So hopefully they're good, but we're going to try them out today. Hey guys, it's welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday, the 26th of May, and I'm going to go ahead and break my fast for the day. Right now it's about 3.30, 6 in the afternoon. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what Ollie made on the grill. It is super hot. Even in the house, it's actually pretty warm. So um, we tried to pull out stuff this week when we got back from vacation to see, you know, something that would be easily made on the um, grill outside. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the food because it looks absolutely delicious. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm starting out with the piece de resistance. We made chicken kebab. So that was the chicken that I uh, marinated. We have some, I did onion, I did some zucchini. I actually have some um, uh, peppers, like um, bell pepper. Um, of course, a little cherry tomatoes in there. 
Oh my goodness, they smell delicious. Lots of seasoning, you can even see it in the pan. There was a couple pieces of steak left over in the freezer, so he just threw that on there really quickly to make. Um, here are the wings that I marinated. As you can see, some of that Sazon only got on a couple of them, but that's okay. Uh, but they came out, he said, very tender, and um, they were really good, so I'm happy about that. Usually, I'm so used to seeing my wings a little darker than this, but it's okay, because no one wants burnt food, so that's all right. And then finally, I have all these little corns over here. I took a few bites of this one, as you can see, because I wanted to try it out, make sure that the corns were done, and it looks like it was. I definitely had um, a little pat of butter and some seasonings. The seasoning got on the foil, but it doesn't look like it necessarily got on the corn. Uh, but that's okay. I can always just do a little bit of, you know, you know, a little uh, salt and pepper if I need to. But yeah, so this turned out absolutely wonderful. I am definitely looking forward because these smell so good. So I'm going to grab a couple of kebabs and put those on a plate. And then here's what I have to go with it. So I have a jar of Kalamata olives some red pepper hummus, uh, some uh, cucumber dill tzatziki sauce, and then we have the traditional um, feta cheese that is in the brine. So I'm gonna actually have to pull that out and just kind of chop up a few pieces to go with my food. But yeah, we're gonna do a little Mediterranean today. And that is, I mean, literally becoming one of our favorites. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, so I did an iced coffee today. It is an iced protein coffee. So that's what I have in here. And then for bubbles, I just pulled this out. I'm gonna do the Coca-Cola Cherry Zero Sugar. So that's what I'm gonna have for today. So let me go ahead and make my plate and show you guys how good it looks. Alrighty guys, it's time to chow down. I'm so hungry, oh my goodness. But I did so good. Alrighty, so here I have three kebabs that I took off, um, some tzatziki sauce. I have uh, that red pepper hummus, some Kalamata olives, and a little, uh-oh, a little uh, tiny slab of that uh, feta cheese. So yes, I am definitely, let me fix this out so y'all can actually see it. There we go, much better. <laughs> so you guys can actually see my plate. Oh my goodness, the seasonings, the little burnt ends on there. Everything looks so delicious. And I cannot wait to shout out, oh my goodness. Um, yesterday, you guys saw um, Saturday was our anniversary, so we actually went out to our one of our favorite little Mexican spots, um, Mezcal, and oh my goodness, the food was so good. I did not get a chance to finish, I think I finished maybe half of my quesadilla. Literally, all the rest of the food is in the fridge. I could not do it, but it was so, so good. So yeah, I really, I was really excited. Um, and then we each got like a little, we just had like a little portion of those crumble cookies. Oh my gosh. Oh, that a little portion of to try, you know, three cookies was enough. Oh my goodness. We had four cookies. We knew what chocolate chip was going to taste like, but you know, oh my goodness. It is, man, super sweet. So I was like, whew, yeah, just a little, a little tasting of each was enough just so that we can say, oh, okay, we tried the, the weekly flavors or whatever the case is. So yes. Um, but that was just today. Today is a brand new day and tomorrow, of course, starts a brand new uh, weekly vlog. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me. And the, this one might be a little bit of a short one. <laughs> um, there was a few days I did not get a chance to capture, one of them being our travel day. When it's a travel day, literally, we don't really eat too much because we're on the plane. I get um, motion sick real quick, but I do remember grabbing like some French fries and stuff from the airport. Um, just to kind of put something on my stomach because I just was not feeling the best anyway. And then of course, Wednesday when we, or not Wednesday, but Thursday when we got back home, I literally did not want to do anything. What did we do Thursday? I think we ended up getting McDonald's or something. We just got something quick because we not nobody trying to, to go nowhere and do a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, Thursday, I think was just like a lay in the house type of day. We just, we really didn't want to do very much at all. So yeah, basically the week went from Tuesday and then jumped right to Friday. So <laughs> I just want to throw that out there with you guys, uh, for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place for a brand new weekly vlog. Take care. Bye.